वेलकम टू द ट्यूटोरियल ऑन हाउ टू डिज़ाइन अ पावर इन्वर्टर इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई विल फॉलो एन अप्रोच विच विल मेक द डिज़ाइन वेरी सिंपल फॉर एनी हॉबियस्ट और एनी डिज़ाइन इंजीनियर आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक फंडामेंटल इन विच आई विल टॉक अबाउट द नीड ऑफ इन्वर्टर्स आफ्टर दैट आई विल टॉक अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ द इन्वर्टर सर्किट then a very important section that is the circuit designing and a component selection criteria will be taken care of after that i'll end up with the designing of pcb using a eagle software you can use any pcb designing software available in the market uh, like uh, pcb express or whatever it is doesn't matter as i promised that i would start from very basics so the first question that might come in your mind is uh, why inverters are used so it's very simple inverters are used to provide a power backup on grid failure now where is this power coming from so in most of the cases this power would be delivered by a battery pack or a solar panel or some other dc sources in general the battery voltage is around 12 volt dc and the appliances that are used in our homes like tv fans refrigerator uses 220 volt ac in some countries like uh, united states uh, it is 110 volt ac now we have to design a circuit uh, which can convert this 12 volt dc to 220 volt ac as described in this figure so when we talk about ac it's very important to define some parameters like waveform and frequency so in our case the grid waveform is uh, sine wave and the frequency is 50 hertz and in the in this figure the waveform is modified sine wave with a frequency of 50 hertz i'll talk about this modified sine wave later on now we have two kinds of inverter first one is the sine wave inverter and the second one is the modified sine wave inverter the input waveform to both the inverters is same that is 12 volt dc but the output waveform to both the inverters are different the modified sine wave inverter is easy to design and uh, of low cost but the sine wave inverter involve complex circuits and is of high cost so in the series of video i'll be talking about the design and implementation of the modified sine wave inverter reason being the 95% of appliances are having no problem to run on this modified sine wave inverters before starting the design i'll briefly describe the different peripherals as well as the housekeeping tasks that will be performed by the inverter circuit the first one is 12 volt to 220 volt converter circuit second one is battery charging stage and the third one is fault handling stage in the fault handling the different right things that is uh, short circuit de protection overload protection and low battery protection will be taken care of now i'll talk about the complete specification of the inverter that we are going to design in this video series so the input voltage as you can see is 10.2 volt to 14.2 volt output voltage is 220 volt modified sine wave output waveform is as i described it's modified sine wave and uh, output frequency is of uh, 50 hertz other features uh, that will be included in this uh, circuit are uh, low battery indication short circuit protection circuit and uh, overload protection circuit these are basically the housekeeping task these are not the main task that will be performed by the inverter circuit but are the housekeeping task one more thing i forgot is uh, the power output which is very important that is 600 va in our case let us start with the task one which is the designing of the circuit which can convert 12 volt dc to 220 volt ac now it is so obvious that a step up transformer will be used in this case 
but you can't directly fed 12 volt dc into a step up transformer because of the violation of the faraday's law so you have to convert this 12 volt dc into 12 volt ac first then you have to fed this 12 volt ac into the step up transformer which will convert this 12 volt ac into a 220 volt ac modified sine wave as you can see in the figure now let's start with the design of the transformer it will use some mathematics uh, but don't worry the maths is not hard here uh, it will use uh, simple formulas like uh, you have learned in the class 12th or so that is v1 by v2 is equal to n1 by n2 is equal to i2 by i1 so this is the basic formula that will be used in the designing of a transformer so as you know that output power is uh, 600 va and the output voltage is 220 volt ac okay so output current will be you can know by p is equal to iv 600 is equal to i cross uh, 220 uh, you can know by using the calculator i is 2.72 ampere okay now i1 by i2 is equal to v2 by v1 that is you can find i1 as v2 by v1 into i2 which will be equal to 220 by 10.2 into 2.7 ampere you may be surprised that why i have taken 10.2 volt instead of 12 volt because uh, i am taking the worst case that battery voltage will go down due to its internal resistance so i am taking the worst case that at 10.2 volt the low battery module will be enabled and the inverter will go in the cut off mode now i1 comes out to be 58.6 ampere so assume that inverter is to be 80% efficient due to the heat loss because of the internal resistance used in the circuit of the inverter the actual i1 will be the 58.6 over 0.8 uh, that was that will be i think some 75 or 73.25 ampere so the actual current that will flow at full load is 73.25 ampere from the battery to the inverter now i'll briefly describe the transformer rating here input voltage should be 10.2 volt output voltage uh, is 220 volt input current at full load should should be 73.25 amps output current should be 2. Point, uh, what i have to see it's uh, 2.72 it's 2.72 amps so this is all about the transformer design in the next video i'll talk about the how to convert uh, 12 volt dc into 12 volt ac using arduino module so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching